Welcome to the Wilson Barks Canal. This is a short description of the waterway and its history. Other QR codes cited locally will give you more information about the canal here and the plans for restoration. The Wilson Barks Canal connected the Kenneth Navan Canal at Sevington near Melksham to Abingdon on the River Thames. This 52 miles of narrow waterway fully opened in 1810 and was mainly used to transport coal mined in Somerset. Branches were also constructed to link Chippenham, Calne, Longcott and Wantage. The main line of the canal had a total of 28 locks raising the water 200 feet from the Kennet and Avon to the summit level in Swindon and a further 17 to drop the 160 feet to the River Thames. The Wilson Barks was surveyed and designed by father and son Robert and William Whitworth. Water was supplied from the reservoir at Cote Water in Swindon and a small one at Tockenham near Lynham. A further canal, the North Wilts, was opened in 1819 to link Swindon to the Thames and Severn Canal at Cricklade. The shortened form of the name, the Wilts and Barks, not Wiltshire and Berkshire, is as it appears in the original Act of Parliament and is said to derive from a lazy parliamentary draftsman not wishing to spell out the county's names in full. In the 21st century, the canal line to the east of Swindon is now in the county of Oxfordshire, following boundary changes in 1974. As a working canal, the route did not attract substantial trade, with the notable exception of the years around 1840, when it was used to supply materials for Brunel's construction of the Great Western Railway. Inevitable years of decline and poor maintenance led to the collapse of the aqueduct over the River Marden at Stanley in 1901, closing the canal to through traffic. In 1914, Swindon Corporation successfully petitioned Parliament and an act officially wound up the canal company and abandoned the waterway. What remained was either transferred or sold to local landowners. This might have been the end of the story, except for a renaissance of interest in canals in the 1960s and 70s, with campaigns started by the Inland Waterways Association and other groups to look at canals for leisure rather than transport of goods. Jack Dolby wrote a book about the Wilson Barks Canal and in 1977, inspired by its contents, a local amenity group formed to reserve what remained of the canal. Founder member Neil Rumbold takes up the story. When we started what was then the amenity group, we deliberately did not put into the um, constitution that we drew up any reference to restoration. Um, people will remember Jack Dolby who uh, had made these canals his own as it were, uh, he was initially very anti the formation of the group and during that summer of 1977 uh, we had a hard job convincing him to uh, take the lead role at our inaugural meeting. We succeeded and he did um, turn up in, in October 77 and he did a great job for us and he supported us from then until his, um, his sad death. But uh, he was initially uh, against the idea. He thought we'd end up sort of messing it up. Having seen the successful progress of the Kennet and Avon Canal, this group expanded and revised its terms to look at restoring the waterway. Demonstration of volunteer-led restoration gave rise to interest from other organisations and local authorities, and in 2001 what is now the Wiltshire, Swindon and Oxfordshire Canal Partnership started to work with the newly formed Wilson Barks Canal Trust on a delivery programme to fully restore and open the waterway as part of a new Southern Canals network. Many studies have demonstrated alternative routes where the original line is obstructed, and work continues year by year to recreate the Wilson Barks as an asset for local communities, and a corridor for wildlife creating unique habitat for endangered species like the water vole. About half the canal towpath is currently accessible, and about 10% has been fully restored or rebuilt. You might like to join the Wilson Barks Canal Trust to get involved in this exciting project. Use a search engine to look for the Wilson Barks Canal or visit www.wbct.org.uk.